Notice. Our courses are taught in English. If you want to see subtitles in other languages, first, we open the subtitles closed captions at the bottom right of the video. Then click setting and select subtitles CC and click auto translate. Now you can choose your preferred language from the list. Hello everyone. It is my pleasure to introduce the main easily damaged parts on the hash board of Antminer T17+. The first chip is an ASIC chip, Antminer BM1397AI. Damage to this chip may be one of the reasons for the failure of the T17 Plus hash board. These two chips are signal conversion chips. When they are damaged, the signals they emit cannot be transmitted back to the control board. It is PIC 16F1704, which is a PIC chip. If the PIC chip is damaged, the power supply will not be able to supply power to the following domain. These four chips are MOS tubes, QN3109. If there is no power in the following domain, be sure to check whether the four MOS tubes are broken down. The chip circled now is the booster chip, MP1517DR. If the booster chip is damaged, the booster circuit will be abnormal. Now I pointing at is a memory chip, also called an EEPROM chip. If there is a problem with the program in the memory chip or the chip is damaged, the hash board will not run normally. This chip with 8 pins and this chip with 6 pins are 1.8 volt LDO tubes. If they are damaged, the ASIC chip corresponding to this domain will not work properly. These two different chips are all the PLL 0.8 volt chips. When they are damaged, the ASIC chips in this domain will not have 0.8 volt to power them. The last chip is the T451 temperature sensor chip. If the temperature sensor chip is damaged, the control board cannot read the ASIC chip temperature of the hash board, then the hash board will not be able to run. Okay, that's all. Thank you for viewing.